It's a Hmong name, the popular in Thailand. The name Can Hmong Koi. Hmong Koi. Lily, you at the what? So what do you Now you do. Now you do study car. Oh, my old bag. Oh, he's cute. Okay, where where they make the raw material for balloons? We're actually at a, a rubber tree plantation garden farm, and um, saw it in Vietnam, but didn't have a camera, so we're gonna show you how they do it here. Aha! Uh -huh. That is raw latex. Yep, and you go like this, and makes. Makes plastic, makes rubber. Moment. Yeah. Oh yeah. They dry. Yeah. It's same same elastic. Not stinky. No. Yeah. But yeah. Your grandmother's house stinky. Yeah. No, no my my grandma. Okay, the way they do it on the tree here, I don't know if you can see, but the tree has basically a cut, and what they do is every time they cut it, so they'll cut it here like this. And then a little bit of latex will start to drip, and it'll come down here, flow down the little chute, and then capture in there. And then once it gets full, they empty it, and then starts the whole process of making rubber or balloons, latex. Okay, here's a little better example. This one's really flowing well. But those are all the cuts in the tree. All these are individual cuts that they've done over time. And then right here, you can see how it it basically the sap starts to come out, flows right down there, gathers, comes down, and then eventually just keeps dripping and dripping, and they collect it. They collect it inside basically a coconut shell. Say again? Yeah. What is the name of the tree bum? Yeah. Yang Pa La. Yang Pa La. Yeah. No Pa La Sitamon. No. Yeah. A latex tree. Rubber tree. And you put it on there, yeah, like that. And it when it dries, dries, it gets all sticky and becomes Good. elastic. Great. What a nice experience, huh, Millie? Yay, Millie gets to experience where the balloons come from. Great. And now we know where do they make balloons. They make balloons right there. You can tell how the coconut shell is just covered in yeah. latex. All the way up. That's great. They're making balloons. Well, man, we don't know about balloons, but they're making latex, which will turn into something. We don't know what. Could be, could be Crocs, could be shoes, could be gloves. Who knows? Yeah, Millie's eating bamboo. Millie's eating bamboo. Long, yeah, but huh? that kind of stinks too. It feels weird. Like rub some on your finger and then do like this. Oh yeah, and it just turns to like a rubber band. What's the elastic water? And oh. Yeah. Shoes. Rubber, everything. Yeah, everything. Smelly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh, and stink. Like this form? Yeah, when it dries, it smells like a dead fish. Oh, yeah, yeah. And hurt, too, by the way. Yeah, they're really, really sticky. Ooh! Ah! 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 Ah
You wax? Oh, yeah. Like waxing the hair off her hand. Ice. 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 So the cost of raw latex, if it's in the liquid form, which doesn't stink, it's about 80 baht for a kilo. If it's in the dry form, it's about 90 baht a kilo. And if they actually process it a little bit, flatten it out into sheets, then it's about nine, about 100 baht a kilo, 100 baht and up. So those are the prices of raw latex. Ready? Okay. Hello. Kuratek, I know. I know you. You make balloon. Moment, moment. <laughs> Go. Hello, Kulatek. I know you. I see you material on the tree. Uh -huh. Yeah, you buy cheap. Now. Okay. <laughs> Bye. -bye. People like me buy them. Money.